Sean Dyche has given his pre-match press conference ahead of the last ever Premier League Merseyside derby at Goodison Park. Uh, the manager talked about the victory last night against Wolves. We're pleased with it, but obviously you've got to try and build on that now ahead of this game against Liverpool. Obviously, the win last night saw Everton move five points above the relegation zone and got an eight-goal swing in the process with Wolverhampton Wonders. Um, goals from Ashley Young, our Roman Gala's first Everton goal. But Dominic Calvert-Lewin thought he'd scored two and both went to Craig Dawson. <laughs> Dom thought Dom had a good game, in all fairness. And Sean Dyche was asked about the performance of Dominic Calvert-Lewin. This is what he had to say. Yeah, I think I, I think that's fair. I think last night, particularly, because um, he's in there, he's throwing himself at things. Um, you know, I mentioned about sometimes you've got to get hurt to score a goal. He did do last night, as in throwing himself. I think he's unlucky with the challenge on the keeper. Um, yeah, and, uh, and I, I'm pretty sure Craig Dawson, someone I respect from a long time ago and someone I've known a long time, great with his, I'm pretty sure he'd be happy to give them away um, you know but yeah it's uh, a good performance I thought from Dom and, and certainly getting in the right areas to score goals which was we also saw last night he was unlucky Dom to be fair uh, we also saw last night the first glimpse of Armando Breuer in Everton's first team came on for sort of around about 15 minutes in all but the stop at the time thought he did really well looked dangerous created two opportunities for Jack Harrison should have really walked off the pitch with a couple of assists but he looked nice and bright and sharp Sean Dyche was asked about Breuer and what he could bring to the Everton attack yeah we'll, we'll learn about him you know because we haven't seen hardly any of him he's been out training with us for sort of a couple of weeks but obviously we, we can only manage so many training sessions when we've got three in a week um, like what I saw, like what I've seen in training, like his attitude towards it, his attitude to get fit, to work very hard to get fit. Um, and and, show, and I thought gave a good cameo uh, last night and certainly a player that we want to, as we've spoken about, you get pressure from the opposition, you get pressure to play, but also your internal pressure from your group. And the more people you've got fit, the more internal pressure there is for players to play well all the time. And I hope that will stimulate others, um, including himself, of course, to play well. Yeah, like I said, I, I thought Breuer done well and excited to see what he can bring as he gets fitter and obviously be on the bench, I think, again for the derby at the weekend. And listen, let's hope he comes off the bench and gets a derby winner. That'd be a lovely a lovely way to get your first Everton goal, wouldn't it? The manager was asked about an injury update ahead of the game. This was what Sean Dyke had to say. Uh, yeah, a couple of knocks, but nothing, nothing serious. Nothing that we think is going to put anyone down. Michael Keane will be touch and go coming back into it. Um, he's got a minor knee ligament injury, which has kept him out. Um, Youssef's getting strong, but not there. Tim is a bit of way off behind, and so is Jimmy Garner, but they're, they're in process of getting back fit. I don't think anyone else think that's it. There you go. Uh, a bit of good news for Everton regarding the derby. Alexis McAllister was booked last night for Liverpool in their three-all draw with Newcastle at St James's Park. That booking means that he will miss the derby at Goodison Park on Saturday. I've been playing really well for Liverpool, so that's good news for us, definitely. And finally, the Freakin Group are in talks with JP Morgan Chase and Company uh, about restructuring Everton's current debt. Uh, the debt will help reduce the interest payments on the debt and stretch Everton's debt um, to a more advanced, um, advantageous, God, easy for you to say, advantageous timescale. That's according to Bloomberg today. Uh, the Freakin Group hoping to complete the takeover by the end of next week. That's a, a positive time scale. So that'd be, listen, we need this done, don't we? It's been far too long, I think. Once that takeover's complete, I think a lot of Evertonians will relax a little bit. We'll have owners who are hopefully become present. There's been stories this week that um, the recruitment firm that they sort of appointed have identified or have already secured Everton's new CEO and chair, apparently. We don't know any more on that. That was just something that was doing the rounds this week as well. So they also followed Everton, of course, the other day on some social media stuff on Instagram. All links, all things pointing towards the takeover finishing and being finalised next week, which would be a huge positive step for the football club that is it for the news daily make sure you check out the final word Everton 4 Wolves nil. also check out the Merseyside derby preview that me and James have done check that one out like subscribe do all that good stuff see you later